In a quiet, tranquil village lived a young shepherd boy. This wasn't your typical youth teeming with energy and laughter. No, this boy had a serious job. Each day as the sun rose over the peaceful hamlet, he would lead his woolly charges across the fields towards the edge of the nearby forest. The boy's days were filled with the simple rhythm of a shepherd's life, the soft bleating of sheep, the rustle of grass under their grazing mouths, the gentle wind whispering through the trees. But the monotony of this routine began to weigh on him. The boy, whose heart yearned for adventure, found his duties rather dull. The same fields, the same sheep, the same forest, day in, day out. It was all so predictably unexciting. His eyes would wander to the forest, where the shadows danced with the promise of unknown thrill. And then one day, a mischievous idea popped into the boy's mind. Feeling mischievous and bored, the boy decided to play a trick on the nearby farmers. He thought to himself, this job of grazing sheep is too dull for my liking. I need some excitement. And so the shepherd boy hatched a plan. He waited for the perfect moment when the sun was high and the farmers were engrossed in their work. Then he filled his lungs with air and cried out at the top of his voice, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is carrying away a lamb! The farmers, hearing the boy's desperate cries, dropped their tools and ran towards the field, their hearts pounding and their faces etched with worry. But when they arrived panting and out of breath, there was no wolf to be seen. The sheep were grazing peacefully, and the boy was doubled over with laughter. The farmers looked at each other in confusion and then at the boy, who was still chuckling. The boy, seeing their puzzled faces, couldn't contain his laughter. He finally managed to say between his giggles, It was just fun, there's no wolf here. The farmers, although relieved, were also frustrated with the boy's prank. They returned to their work, shaking their heads and muttering under their breath about the boy's foolishness. But the boy seemed unfazed. He found the whole situation amusing and couldn't wait to play his trick again. And so the boy cried wolf again and again, each time causing the farmers to abandon their work and rush to the field, only to find the boy laughing at his own joke. The boy's tricks became a regular occurrence and the villagers grew weary. They began to ignore the boy's cries, thinking it was another one of his pranks. And that's how the shepherd boy, with his mischievous tricks and repeated lies, made a laughing stock of himself in the village. Little did he know that his actions would have serious consequences in the near future. But we'll get to that. For now, let's leave it at this. The boy's tricks became a regular occurrence, and the villagers grew weary. One fateful day, the boy's cries were not a trick. The sun was high, the air was still, and a real danger lurked in the shadows of the nearby forest. Suddenly a wolf, fierce and hungry, sprang out, attacking the flock. The boy, gripped by genuine fear, cried out as he had done so many times before. Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is carrying a lamb away! His voice echoed across the fields, reaching the ears of the villagers. But this time his calls were met with silence. The villagers, once quick to come to his aid, now merely shook their heads and continued their work. They thought it was just another one of the boy's pranks. The boy's pleas echoed unheard, his fear unnoticed, as the wolf snatched a lamb from the flock. No one came to the boy's aid, and the wolf made off with a lamb. In the aftermath of the wolf attack, the boy was left to reflect on his actions. Alone and scared, the shepherd boy's heart was heavy with regret. His mischievous pranks, once a source of laughter, had now cost him dearly. He mourned the loss of his lamb, a casualty of his own deception. The boy's cries for help echoed through the empty fields, met with nothing but the villagers' indifference. They had grown weary of his tricks, their trust in him shattered like a fragile pane of glass. Their silent disregard was a sharp reminder of the painful truth. His lies had isolated him. The consequences of his actions weighed on him, sinking him into a pool of remorse. He had not only lost a lamb, but also the trust of his villagers. The price of his deceit was higher than he could have ever imagined. And so the boy learned a valuable lesson that day. This timeless tale imparts a valuable lesson to us all. It reminds us that honesty is essential. When we lie, even once, trust is broken and our words lose their value. Even the truth sounds false from a liar's mouth. Remember, honesty is always the best policy.